Hey everybody, today we're going to talk about the curve pinch press. So C and H. C H C A C I don't know. Fun. Okay. So this is a great brush because if you um, were trying to if you, you finished modeling your character and he looked kind of round like this and you wanted to apply clothing. This brush is a great way to um, do that, or just create, you know, ripples in your clothing or muscles or shoelaces. I don't know. But yeah, let's make a let's make a cake. Blah. Blah. Fancy, and there's always holding down Alt, which inverts what you're trying to accomplish. So on the other side, Alt, 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 pushes out, and then regular pushes in. So if you were artistic, you could do all sorts of cool stuff. Control Z, back to the beginning. And so let's. Oh, that's a good idea. Let's make some ears. Okay, there are ears. And then let's shape them up a little bit. Let's uh, dye mesh. Okay. And then cut into it. Dye mesh. And then right. And then let's make the. Oh, that's weird. Dynamesh. Yay, we've got ears. Now a, a set of eyes. Nose. Oh, my bad. Uh, let's take off symmetry just for that. Ooh, X. Okay, so that that's a nice feature. We're on symmetry right now. Let's deactivate it. With a nose. Oh, yeah. Uh, Alt. Okay, there's our nose, and then reactivate it with X for the smile. Yay! <laughs> cool. Now the uh, eyebrows, brows. Yep. Uh, invert. Uh, okay. Then the hair. Fancy. Oh yeah. Um, you can uh, edit these as well. So if you lay down a line like like that, but I wanted this to connect to this patch of hair, you could move it around, resize it. Yeah, so that that's pretty fancy. But there is our curve pinch character. Okay. Thanks, everybody.